Fruit salad. Hey. It's all about fruit salad. <laughs> you don't get any lunch today unless you make a little fruit salad. Hey, this is Kirsten Joy Weiss, and thanks for joining me today. I have a special episode for you that I created with Gunny, Arlie Ermy of Gunny Time, and it is about the Owen submachine gun. Yep, we're gonna go full auto today. Now, this gun is extremely rare. I think the one I used in the episode is only one of two in the States, so I had to research the heck out of this gun, and I even went to the Australian field manual on the gun. That's how deep I went, just to make sure that the facts were the facts. So, in this episode, we're gonna cover some facts, we're gonna cover its unusual creation story, and, of course, we're gonna shoot it. So, I hope that you have as much fun as I had creating this episode. Please enjoy. Okay, people, it's time to check out our second weapon of the day. Now, she might be smaller than the 2429, but like I always say, there's a tool for every job. And in the jungles of the Pacific during World War II, you weren't gonna find a better weapon than this baby. I kind of get to pick out who I want to have on board, and there's nothing that turns me on better than a good-looking gal with a cute gun. Come on in here, Kirsten. Hey, Gunny, I brought this just for you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yep. That's real sweet. What is this thing? This is an Owen submachine gun. Owen submachine gun, huh? Yep. Well, it's real cute. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is, real it is pretty. cute. I think well, that's... you did such a great job when you were here last time that we just Thank had you. to have you back on. You're still shooting upside down and backwards and twisting. Absolutely. Around. You obviously practice a lot because I don't think you miss a target. I don't think so. I think you hit it every time. <laughs> it kind of makes me Yeah, but rise what about you? To, well, it makes me rise to the occasion. You see, exactly. I can't have you out shining the sun here. Uh -huh. Hey, come on. I remember you getting it the first shot as well. That's the way we have to do it. We have to, you know, if you hit it the first shot, I'm going to hit it the first time too. <laughs> Tell me about this little gun. This gun is from Australia. It is extremely rare. It was originally developed right around World War II by Evelyn Owen. By a lady? <laughs> Evelyn? Evelyn is, um, well, in Australia, I don't think Evelyn is a girl's name. Or maybe it could be. Either way. Yeah, you know how they are in Australia, <laughs> upside down and all. Upside down. Wrong side of the world. But anyway, they're good guys, though. I'll tell they you, are. anytime America needs help, they run to us and help yeah. us out. They're mm -hmm. good people. Mm -hmm. So. Evelyn invented this gun, huh? Yes. Now, this is a nine millimeter. Yes. It, How many rounds will it hold? It, it holds about 30 to 32. You don't want to load it up completely because it will feed better if it's not fully to capacity. One of the benefits of the magazine being on the top is that gravity aids loading. The heaviness of the gun ends up counterbalancing the rate of fire in full auto. Okay. This camo and this paint pattern is actually standard issue for the Owen submachine gun because it was used in jungle warfare and tropical warfare mainly. What year was this invented? Its development was through World War II. Okay. Mm -hmm. Evelyn Owen, right before World War II, was actually trying to develop a gun by himself. Owen was in his early 20s, just tinkering in his dad's garage with firearms. And he first developed a 22 caliber, which had a huge drum that rotated, but it was very rudimentary. And so he took it to the Australian Army and he said, you know, look at this, I made this. Do you want to use it in your military? And they're like, no. We he said, shoot along, people with kid. 22s, right? Well, he was a kid. He's something you know? a little bigger than that, he right? Just, he thought, yeah, he developed it. He thought it would be good. They didn't like it. His design got rejected. Evelyn got discouraged, and he just enlisted into the Australian military. And the story would have ended there had it not been for his neighbor, Vincent Wardell. By fate, his neighbor came over, found the gun just leaning up against the house in a sugar sack. And he happened to own a machine shop. He decided, hey, this would really be cool if it was a little larger caliber, right? Exactly, yes. And he took it to the Army Inventions Board in Australia. So at the time, Germany had just defeated France. Japan was getting hungry for the Pacific. 
and they thought, hey, we do not have any machine guns. We were relying too much on our bolt guns. We better take a look at this and try to develop something that's really going to help us. And this is what they came up with, mm -hmm. huh? Yes. Okay. So Evelyn's actually the one that started ball rolling. Absolutely, yeah. But it's a sweet little gun. <laughs> it is. Well, we're out here in the desert, and rather than stand here and shoot the <clears throat> all day, <laughs> we'll just go shoot these guns. Absolutely. All right, you take this one because okay. that one. This one's prettier. That one is a prettier gun. I'll take the old ugly one here. <laughs> Snack time, people. I'd stay away from the Vegemite, though. Nasty stuff. What do you say we take matters into our own hands and make some refreshing smoothies, gunny style? Okay, Kirsten, let's make some fruit salad here, huh? Sounds good, Gunny. Take that melon out straight away. Got it. It's always nice, as far as I'm concerned, to watch where the first few rounds go on these older guns. Yes. That way you can adjust, you know, a little Kentucky windage probably is necessary. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take out the center piece of fruit, okay? Sounds good. Fruit salad. Hey! It's all about fruit salad. <laughs> you don't get any lunch today unless you make a little fruit salad. All right, then call okay. out another one. Then take out those uh, cabbages those in front. Let's go for the cantaloupe. Okay. Yeah, I call them mushmelons. Where I come from, mushmelons. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I'm oh. seeing them hit in these little rounds. It's a nine millimeter. This goes right on through. Mm -hmm. And I see the juice oh, leaking out. Just leaking all They just all don't want to move unless you hit them really good and hard right in the middle. And the sights on this are actually offset. It's awkward. It is awkward. And if they wanted to offset the damn sights, <laughs> offset them on the left side. Right? Maybe Evelyn Owen was a lefty. I don't Must know. Must have been a lefty. Could have been. I think we need to get more bullets. You out of bullets? I am. Yes. Huh? <laughs> Bullet Meister. They loaded up tracers this time, Kirsten. Let's rock on those, OK? Yep. <laughs> okay, Kirsten, that's it. Clear your weapon. Got it. Well, it's been a pleasure, Kirsten. Thanks for being on the show. And it shan't be long, I will guarantee you. I look because forward to the next time. Having you a flower amongst all these weeds <laughs> that we have here is a breath of fresh air. Well, thanks, Gunny. It's so great to be here. It's always fun shooting with you. Come on, walk with me. How was that for a world tour? That's what happens when you have good friends with great guns. Adios, amigo. Oh, pretty cool origin story on that gun, right? And it's a great gun. I had a wonderful time shooting it. If it wasn't so rare and probably expensive, I would own one or more of them. <laughs> That's how much I enjoy that gun. It is one of the best sub guns I've ever shot in my life. Thank you for joining me for the fun challenge and joy of shooting. Aim true and happy shooting. Make sure to subscribe because we're gonna have more episodes of all sorts of guns, all sorts of trick shots, and even more gunny. So if you're not already subscribed, 
make sure you subscribe.